Adding grass foliage support to an RGBAK material is a very simple and straightforward task. A typical RGBAK material is using a 4-bit plane splat map comprised of weight maps for altitude, flow map, flat slope, steep slope, and cave for everything else. The flat slope weight map is also typically used for a grass texture. This same flat slope weight map can also be used for the rendering of grass foliage, so that there is grass meshes on the grass texture areas. Adding the grass will require the following items. The Unreal Engine Editor, a landscape that is textured using an RGBAK splat map master material, a grass mesh with grass material, a landscape grass type object, a landscape grass output node plus optionally three more basic nodes to provide contrast control over the flat slope weight map. This tutorial assumes that you already have a landscape actor with an RGBAK splat map material instance applied to it in the map. See the other videos on this channel for information on how to extract weight maps and create splat maps and RGBAK materials. RGBAK materials and RGBAK master materials created by Dimension Media are available on the Epic Marketplace at a very good price. You can find a link to the Dimension Media store page in the description below. Create a folder called Landscape under your main project folder. This landscape folder will be used to contain such objects as landscape grass types and landscape layers. See the RGBAK paint layers video for the use of landscape layers objects. Right click in the landscape folder and choose the landscape grass type item on the foliage asset group. This will add a landscape grass type item to the folder. Name this item LGT underscore grass zero. Double click on the landscape grass type item to edit its properties. Click on the Array Plus button to add an item to the array. Navigate to your grass mesh and drag it to the grass mesh property. Set the grass density property to 200. Set the end cull distance property to 15,000. Click on the Save button to save the changes and close the properties dialog. Open the RGBAK master material for editing. Right click and add a landscape grass output node. A landscape grass output node simply takes a scalar value input from 0 to 1 that corresponds to the location of where the grass mesh will be rendered. The input connection on the node can be wired directly to a splat map bit plane output. In the landscape grass output node properties, assign the LGT grass 0 we previously created to the grass type property. If you're not using the contrast control, then simply connect the flat slope weight map output on the splat map texture to the landscape grass output node input. In the case of the splat map used in my example material, the blue channel is flat slope. Your splat map channel will vary with your splat map weight map order. Apply the settings and save the material. There should now be grass meshes all over the flat slope areas of the landscape. If you receive a warning message on the viewport to build grass maps, then choose the build grass maps item on the build menu. This next step is completely optional for whether you want to have contrast control over the flat slope weight map to allow control over how the grass density functions. The contrast control will allow you to specify the strength level of the weight map that the grass mesh appears on. Right click and add a power node, a constant node, and a clamp node. Wire up the nodes as shown. Right click the constant node and choose convert to parameter and set the parameter name to grass contrast and the group to foliage. Apply the settings and save the material. There should now be grass meshes all over the flat slope areas of the landscape. If you open the material instance, you can adjust the contrast control to change the grass density on the flat slope. 
It's this easy to add grass and other decoration meshes, such as scattered rocks, to an RGBAK splat map landscape. 